All right, Tommy, can you tell me what your name is? <laughs> my name's Tom, or Tommy Fedara, or me follows is what some people call me when I walk into the gym. So many good dick days. All right, so Tommy, how long have you been training jiu-jitsu? So collectively, I've been training about eight years. I started training back in 2015, and then with some intermittent time off here in between, it kind of adds up to about eight years between now and then. Awesome. Eight years of training. That's a good amount of training. It's a long journey. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some things that you like about jiu-jitsu? And then I'll ask you another question after that, kind of relating to what you do for work. So jujitsu was always like, it was, it was very mysterious to me at first when I first saw it. Um, I, it's, to me, it looked like just like people like rolling around with like trying to grab each other's clothes and put each other in nuts. <laughs> and then the more I got, the more I got exposed to it, I saw what it was about. And then I learned that it was about more or less controlling uh, the human body or defending against uh against somebody that's attacking you without inflicting damage um different from different martial arts like striking and other stuff like that it was more of long lines of like body physiology and controlling how the body works uh more giving the smaller guy the advantage if you will and you didn't have to give somebody a concussion or break your hands right, to do it, it right was, it was really cool. <laughs> I mean, you, see, you see a lot of it in like ufc or other uh, like smaller divisions of fighting where these guys will put like control holds or body holds on somebody and all of a sudden it's like the person's completely incapable of defending themselves with little to no injury. So Tommy, what do you do for work and why is jiu-jitsu important for your job? So I am a uh, jail deputy for the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I worked out at the Justice Center and I believe that um, I first started training jiu-jitsu for my job because I learned that um, simple, simple defensive tactics I, I was exposed to in the beginning of my career just weren't enough and everything's evolved uh over the course of time and as the as the years went on the culture kind of changed and there was a big police reform in 2020 that basically rendered uh the perception of striking was just not good mm -hmm. um it, obviously in different certain situations it allows that you need to strike but especially when and like i was just saying perceptions everything when you're in this type of work everything you're everything you do is looked at under a microscope so if you can control an assailant or control a suspect who might be under the influence of something or having a mental episode or just downright hates you as much as some people might think that that person might deserve to get smashed or whatever your preliminary goal is control then custody without inflicting any sort of damage the less medical attention the person needs at the end of the day or the less injury that is involved to either you or the person you are trying to put in control the better uh so again in 2020 the big police reform happened and there was a big change in the New York State uh, Department of Criminal Justice Services where they, implement, where they started to implement jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. And that's where I really started to see the culture change. And with jiu-jitsu for me, with my training, when I'm here, no matter who I'm with, um, it forces you to think and it forces you to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Uh, you, could be, you could have a huge guy on top of you and you think to yourself, oh my God, I can't breathe, I can't move. But in reality, you can stop your brain and think to yourself, okay, this is the position I'm in, this is what I need to do. And that translates over to the job. Um, in law enforcement, you're tasked with making split-second decisions at everybody's uh, beck and call, and everyone is looking at you and judging you in some way, shape, or form. Uh, my training from jiu-jitsu translates over to where if I'm involved and I'm uh, having to defend myself against a combative individual, I have to take them into custody, I have that advantage to where when I'm training, I know that I can revert back to calming myself down and using the techniques that I've been taught to control that person without inf with inflicting minimal damage as possible. Yeah, I mean, you're used to being in those spots while other people aren't be, and that's where training will take effect. So, Tommy, what do you enjoy specifically about training uh, jiu-jitsu here at Haven Jiu-Jitsu? Since the first day I walked into Haven, uh, obviously a lot later than my head coach would have liked it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, since the day I walked in, like the mantra was, Everybody gets better. There isn't a single person here that has an ego that has something to prove that I'm better than this person, I'm better than that person. It doesn't matter the age, the size, the skill level. Everybody coaches everybody and everyone wants everyone to get better. And I think that really, uh, it really sets it apart. I've, I've trained at a lot of different places. Um, there's, there's pros and cons everywhere. And I've never been in, in more of a positive environment than I have been here. I mean, all my coaches from Ben, Brett, Dan, Joe, Marty, Ryan, Josh, uh, everybody, even like some of my favorite training partners, Jason, uh, Jared, I don't want to leave anybody out, but we'll mm -hmm. be here all day. <laughs> uh, everybody wants everyone to get better. And like I said, I had, I've been training at about, about eight years and I never 
really toyed with competition until I got here. I was more of a hobbyist. I still am a hobbyist. I'm still fun. I still have a day job. Like this is what I do for fun. But um, I, I never really thought about doing a competition. And then as soon as I, I joined, I got my feet wet with my first one. And yeah. now here we are. It's October 2nd. And in the last calendar year, I've done five competitions. I started off with a grappling industries, went to an AGF, then another grappling industries. And then I decided to you know, level up a little bit and go to IBJJF where yeah. I learned that this world is nuts. <laughs> uh, so I got to say, like, like bar none, like this, the environment here is just awesome. Everybody wants to get better. Um, the coaching, the support from everybody, the programs that we have, the different groups, the times, like just, just everything about this environment is great. And I, I tell everybody that if you've ever been hesitant about training, talk to one of us. Come have fun. Come join it. If you like it, great. If not, it's no big deal. We know you're going to end up coming back eventually. So... That's that, that's my two cents, and you know I just want to say thanks to my coaches and everybody that's uh, uh, supported me throughout the years. I'm just gonna keep my training. You know everybody jokes and says that the cliche part about jujitsu is this is a journey, and it really is. I mean, aside from my marriage, I can't think of anything I've done longer, <laughs> or my job that I've done longer <laughs> than five, six, seven years, and have been consistent with it. And uh, in the times I've, I've had intermissions between my training, where I've gone six, seven, eight months. And it's just something just propels you back to jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. It's just something about it. Just it, it, it builds your character. It shows who you are. It teaches you to believe in yourself when the odds are stacked against you. And, you know, it, it makes you a better person. Well, awesome. We love having you here, Tommy. And I do appreciate this little testimonial about how things are going for you here at Haven Jiu-Jitsu. Absolutely. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.